that team, they it was it was a really rough game for them actually. It was 15-13 that they won it. And that's not a highly rated team at all. So for for them, pulling out a Sova catches me a little bit off guard, but not quite to the same extent as what we're seeing over on Team Liquid, even going so far as picking an attack side start killjoy. Now, Mitch, I've got to ask you, mate. Had you seen those Asian picks before we made our predictions, would you be changing right now? Would you be saying Liquid? No. Or are you still sold on FPX? No, I'm still with FPX. FPX oh, are going right, for a more right. tried and tested <laughs> with a little bit of a mix-up yep. due to the update. The Liquid are going a hats off craziness. I don't know if this is because of the results they had in the oh, previous God. tournament, but straight away, Solkus, he wanted to get aggressive, and all the flashes in the world couldn't help him avoid those bullets. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the flash start that uh, Liquid were planning for there, but it did go in FPX's favor, and they didn't really take too much damage. Angel's been tapped up a little bit, but he can just back away. He can chill. He can keep it going for now. Overall, for Liquid, you're down a play, and you, you really haven't got too much information to play off on early on. Scream's looking to push on forward. Angel's keeping his distance up with it. He's going to be able to spot a couple of them crossing over for now, and he can just reposition himself. Still enough bodies over towards the A site, and we're going to see one player rotating over already. On the rotates, on the move. Got to be fast on your feet, and Scream is fast with the bullets. Catching ahead straight away and pulling Liquid back up into a reasonably doable position. Moving in towards the A site. Here's another flash going out. We're going to be saying that a lot. A shadow cooks <laughs> away in the corner. He's hoping he can get away with this by a little bit of time Ooh. for his teammate. Nade could be coming through any second now. Zipman already catching an opening. The boom bot coming through. And Nade, he wants to throw it, but he was scared of being pushed up close. He's going to oh, clear no. out elbow with that. Good damage. Actually denies the spike plant and takes half HP away from Eccles. That is huge in a pistol round, especially. Scream's got to go for the heads. He's the one tap machine, the headshot oh. machine, and it's not happening for him. Taken down straight away. And with Eccles being so low, it's an easy finisher for Zipan. Zipan, go kill. It's not a joke. It's not a meme. He's the real thing when it comes to playing this game. Backed up alongside the rest of FPX, and they get off to the start they wanted here. And the good thing here, right, when we look at what FBX have done, they were ready for this meta change. They're ready for things to go out towards them. But when Eccles told me, right, Mick, when we're doing the interview, he says, oh, we're going to throw a curveball your way. You, you won't expect it. I could have never predicted this. <laughs> now, yes, it's only the pistol round that's come into play, but you know how well thought out Liquid are as a team. We see the executes on maps. We see how strategical they can be with how it all plays out. This kind of play, we've never seen from them before. So we, everyone can be guessing. And I, even when I was speaking to Shadow, he was saying, we haven't really practiced against many of the teams in this tournament. So we don't know how they're going to play it out yet. They've been playing against, say, the other teams like lower down on the rankings. So there's a lot of the unknown for everyone right now. Yeah, look, 100%. I, I'm always going to be critical of the likes of a Phoenix. I think he's a pretty useless agent, especially with a patch now for Breach, even more so. But yep. the reality is... I'm going to give Liquid the benefit of the doubt because, sorry, but Sliggy knows more about this game than me. Oh, hell yeah. Pretty much anyone. So <laughs> I'm not going to come in saying they shouldn't be doing it. What I am going to say is I want to see what they're going to do with it. I'm interested because, to me, there are better options. Now, let's see what mm -hmm. their decisions are and what they've decided to you know, pick this for straight away. Okay, a little bit of control down middle. Now, Xiao playing in towards this agent is not typical for him. I mean, we've seen the Sova definitely, but not necessarily on split. In fact, all the games yeah. we've cast, uh, Allied Odyssey or any of the other ignition events, he has not been playing a Sova when it comes down to split. Most teams haven't. So, I'm, whoops, I'm curious Ooh. to see how that's going to be playing out for him. It's already gained info and pushed the attackers oh. back quite a bit. And a great nade by Zipan gives them a couple, not only the kill, but a couple HP points ahead. Raze is so dangerous when it comes to split. These tight corners, these choke points. Shao just wrecking Eccles there as he goes his way up the zip wire once again. 2-0, very clean. No problems at all. No pressure being applied massively just yet. But this is the round where it all comes down to. How is Liquid going to play this, right? Because looking at their lineup, you expect it's going to be fast and furious. But I think there's going to be a lot more depth to what they're going to be able to show and what they're going to be able to offer here. And you've got to remember, right, most of the members, other than Scream and Sliggy, are currently at the boot camp with Liquid right now. Mm -hmm. So they're all there in the Netherlands, I believe it is, for Liquid. And they're in a position where a lot of teams don't have that luxury to even be in a boot camp, to even be that close to each other to be working on things as a team. Look at this. Solkus is loving the blast packs. Getting up aggressive, this time yeah. into heaven without being shut down, which is the benefit. Those skins look so trippy. I love the operator. It's gorgeous on Mixwell's green one. Looks so damn cool. Now, good use of the molly there from Angel. He's going to keep him at bay for now. 
Oh, he blows up into it. He sprays out the battle. He gets away with two. He should have never been able to get screen, but they weren't able to finish him off. You see the weapon switch comes over because Angel's incredibly low. And remember, with no Sage in play, there's going to be no heal up offered to him. But Zipan walks out straight into the clutches of Cryptics. Head ripped clean off, and they're trying to make these numbers work for him. Soulcast, he's pushed himself up on ramp, but he's only been able to get this far. He's been here since the very beginning of the round, and Xiao seemingly might be aware of it. Oh, now he definitely is. Smart little jump peek. Gorgeous work. I love it. There's the recon, clearing him out. He knows he's behind the box at this stage. He's just going to cross over, get an, uh, an angle where he can escape, right? If they do start to push yeah. on through, especially when you still got the Phoenix up or probably more importantly the Rays who haven't used, hasn't used her nade up oh. but now he's been spotted time to run nades coming through Shao realizes that and he's away gonna try to cut them off as they move to the site he spots it look at this little cheeky little so spot smart. I love it so he's seen them now he knows the player in heaven he knows they're pushing out the round and here comes Shadow goes through on the stun default line and he finds a couple faults with this offense Solkus left alone and Angel comes through to find a third kill in the round even on his 2 HP trading out his teammates really nice setup there they have a player on site defender spawn and it Heaven for the Angels rotate. There was no way Liquid got away with that. This opening duel, though, what the hell was yeah. that by Angel? You see the confidence this man has with the newly patched Vandal. And this is it, right? The hours that Angel's putting into the game, the fact that his weapon that he loved when a lot of players weren't willing to pick it up, he believed in it being the entry fragger of the team as well. Another solid round, another lockdown round coming out from FPX because Liquid, they may get close to the site, but they're not getting that spike down anytime soon. Now, sadly, just pistols for Liquid in this one. It's more about what damage might they have a chance of doing here. Smoke's going to be put on the ground as well as Zipan gets the boom bot out. Angel just tapping away, making it work for him. Continuing to get some additional kills up there, and he's also got his ult fully charged. Cryptic's hoping the turret might be able to defend him a little bit here, but it doesn't matter where Liquid are pushing. FPX are just ready for him. Yes, you've got lesser weaponry, but right now, FPX aren't giving you even a little bit of space to try and get anything done. Sadly, the turret not quite helping out in any of those fights. And so we go four to zero. A very strong start. And remember, this map tends to be quite defender-sided. You can True. see a, a reasonable seven rounds over in favor of FPX, maybe even an eight-four on a really strong day. But my issue, Banks, is that's we're talking generally, right? Yeah. Now we have to take into account the patch. You've obviously got much more to work with when it comes down to the breach. That should make every map a little bit more accessible to attacking sides. And when you're coming in with a triple flash setup, well, I expect you to be able to push a site. So this is a lot of pressure on Liquid to make this one work. And again, if I'm not mistaken, this is their map pick, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Liquid if you... picked up into this, and this is a map that we know FPS can play. Do you remember that game against G2 in the semifinals of the last European Ignition series that we covered? It was nearly going in favor of FPX. They were so confident and dominant on it before this patch came in. Yep, it was it was literally one round. I remember where they, they overextended a little bit, gave those opportunities back. If it wasn't for that, we could well have seen them take it. And considering that, right, Liquid have gone for this more way more attack-sided comp. They've gone for something that should give them a lot of entry potential, and they've picked this map. They need to be winning. They need to be doing well on the attacking side. There's no excuses at this point, especially considering their experience at the last event. They do not want this to compound and start to roll into what we kind of expect from Liquid in a tournament. Because at the moment, they're in that top four bracket. But if they bomb out of this tournament, I don't think they'll be there anymore. Or at least they'll be right on the edge. Now, interestingly enough, Mitch, what do you make of the whole Cypher over Killdraw and defending starting side here for FCS? For me, that's like a their go-to, right? They're not changing it up, but more teams were saying, yeah, we're supposed to happen. Well, that ult's coming and it's perfect. I'll come back to that, Mitch, because Angel is getting it done. He even takes down Eccles as well. Liquid get absolutely smashed. Soulcast is on four health. And we still got five players alive for FPX. Soulcast surely just going to save. Yep, I think there's uh, there's no other choice at this point with 4 HP in 10 seconds. You know, just going back to that point that you were asking about... Uh, yeah, we've got time now. Let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> By taking the Cypher. So, I'm actually... I'm with this. I'm 100% with this because we know that Angel doesn't like the kills. Uh, the chat yeah, that he, I had with him. He told you. Yeah, he is not, he's not a fan. Oh, Solkus, you're in trouble. He's tucked away. He should be fine, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Angel was saying he's not a, not a big fan of, uh, of Kildred. He thinks it's next to useless on the attacking side. So, unless that changes, and unless Meadow felt like he could comfortably use it, 
you're not going to see that change up. And, and I respect, stick to your gun, stick to what works. And at the moment for Meadow, I think the way he plays as well, moving into a, a very rotation heavy. So his flanks are generally on the attacking side. He doesn't get too aggressive on, on defense, but he does rotate quite heavily. But setting up his utility just to lock down parts of the map and using his camera can give him the ability to check the B site whenever he has to has to bail. Now, if you've got a turret in play, I feel like they can be a little bit more readable. Like you can be more stealthy and conceal your utility towards B to give you an advantage in a lot of fights. With Killjoy, not so much. It more or less stops any hard pushes, but if they bait out your util, then you're left hanging. And uh, you're not really able to take duels the way he does. Like you look at his one-way cages over towards the B site. He can see your feet as you run through and take the fights. He does it successfully and scares a lot of players away from pushing B. Killjoy doesn't really have that potential. So I, I understand why he's sticking with it, but I don't think there's necessarily a, a right and a wrong at the moment. Mm. I think it's very much down to how you like to play and if you feel comfortable on an agent. Well, we know FPX feel comfortable with everything they've got. There's a method to the madness behind everything. We questioned their breach play before the meta came into play. Well, they were one step ahead of everyone. And right now, they're five steps ahead of Liquid, who desperately need to get some rounds on the board. They need to fight back in some way. Zipan in a great location here. He's got the back of a shell. You see the play coming in. And, well, that's an ult wasted on the Phoenix. Zipan. Oh, he's going to pop the ult as well. But it gets... Oh, he still gets Link. Wow. I thought it was just going to miss him. Scream may pick up the kill. But it's still in favor here for FPX. Shao swings around the corner and it's all falling apart time and time again for Liquid. They can't get going. They can't get moving. And once again, not even close to the site. Yeah, shut down completely. Scream made it on. And we didn't even make it on the site, did he? he dropped down the rope and then he just kept on falling. Straight down line horizontally on the ground. This was nuts, actually. Yeah. So he fired that clearly to kill Scream. And Link, I don't know how he <laughs> died to that. I think he's got to be pretty uh, pretty ticked off when that one went down. But oh, I would be. Look at that start. 11 to 1 for Angel. We talk about this man as an entry fragger. And now he's coming through with one hell of a starting performance on the defensive side. We've seen him open up A so many times. To the point that Meadow, who we're complimenting, is sitting on B like, I've got one kill. Can you let me do something? Like... <laughs> This is look at these openings again. They try to push through the smoke and boom, they're dead immediately. This is well thought out play and well Mitch, you know, as old guys, we can still frag out a little bit. My um my stats Angel still can. outdo yours. Yeah. Angel can. Yeah, we, do we need to bring up those stats again, mate? Being better than me ain't better than Angel, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're kicking it in that 30 club, man. We're kicking it strong. <laughs> oh. 30 plus, let's put it that way, 30 plus. Uh, <laughs> so, speaking of the, the old man, uh, Angel's already picked up the opening alongside his buddy. They managed to completely lock down A. And the problem is, right, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place at this point. They've gone for yeah. A, they've gone for mid. You notice they don't go towards B. Now, you can obviously use your um, your rays to clear out a lot of the utility, like the tripwires, but you're still going to have those double one-way cages to deal with, and no one wants to deal with those. It means you're going to play slow around. This one's so oh, God, just disgusting work from Shell. He shut that Crypt one down. Cryptix thought he was hidden away. He's like, okay, yeah, I can sit there, I can take it, and then nope, Shell just jumps on top of him and says, I see you. I, I, I've got your number. I've, I've got I got this spot. I, I knew you'd be hanging down there. I knew you'd be waiting. Yeah, I think they caught him on the way in, though, right? Uh, was an angel up in heaven? Whoever was peeking in the heaven window. Shout, Shout yeah. excuse me. Yeah, so he, he caught the head as, as they were walking through. Oh, it's not looking good, Banks, is it? Like, just look at that scoreboard. Five kills between the entirety of the Liquid team as they're 7-0 down. And that says it all. Now, for fe fearing what Team Liquid can do now, we've not seen these crazy fast plays. We've seen them try to work up mid. We've seen them try to push towards A. They've been met with aggression from FPX. But time and time again, Liquid have struggled to even get close to it. What do you, what do you want to see him try to do, right? We spoke about the extra flashes. Well, it's not really coming into play for him. No, so I I think on the defense, they can still play a big role in terms of uh, seizing control. But uh, boy, look, if you lose 12-0, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you're not going to be able to make those aggressive plays. One slip up and you're gone. They're running into a stack on B. Three players here, one in heaven. The A side is so passive at the moment. Off the back of next to no utility. I mean, they're here in the steps. They know exactly what Team Liquid are doing. This is a hell of a gamble Ooh. by FPX, and it's going to pay off. They're going to completely shut this down. Solkus, though, already out in the site, and the kills are going to Liquid. 
off the back of that oldie. They knew it was time to strike. They found the B site. The spike's going to go down as well. And Meadow, all on his own in the back lines. He's not going to get it done. A solid round coming out from Liquid. And my oh my, it was about time. But was that more of the mistakes of what FBX tried to do there or just the full-out aggression that was shown by Liquid? I need to see him chain a couple of these rounds together. I need to see that done a few more times to be fully convinced at this stage. Well, it was definitely a very aggressive push by Liquid. You saw it wasn't even down to their flashes. It was Solkus blitzing into the site with the blast packs, ulting and finding a kill. The rest of the players on the back of that chaos able to run out and catch the entirety of FBX off guard. Keep in mind, there were four players towards that B site and Liquid still managed to open it. That is a massively positive sign. We talk about pushing in towards the Cypher and he wasn't even able to use his cages because of the yeah. pressure they were put under. That's really what you want to see. Seizing heaven control is so essential. And in the start of the round, they walked with four players towards B main. I don't know if the call Ooh. was to push B main, but I'm very glad they didn't commit to it either way because that would have been a disaster. And they recovered it much better by taking mid as well. There. Operator shot was nicely landed there. It looked very close. Liquid now got full control of mid. But slowing it right down again. They don't have too much information to play off of either. And Angel's already moved his way over towards B. They're expecting that hit to come back in again where Liquid can split it either way. The issue for FPX, giving up that mid control, is that no utility needs to be burned from Liquid until they get very close. Now the ult through. There's not an opening duel, but they've spotted Zip and the ult in play, but it's not going to get anything. Solkus and Gan just completely opens up this site. They know exactly Ooh. where Cypher is. And that nade, he didn't get the kill. That seals his fate. Eccles gets the kill either way, but the nade would have come through to finish the job. Spike going down. And this is a, a bit of a disaster, really, for FPX. Oh, no. That's now twice they've managed to whiff that one. More flashes coming out. Shao trying to recon his way in. Screen can just back away. They invulnerability. Oh, it's so naughty. Perfectly played. Heals himself up afterwards. And easy does it. Two in a row for Liquid. And this is their chance to bounce back into it. Again, they're catching FPX just at the right time. You saw Angel was midway through his ult. Still does manage to pick up that kill onto Link, but it didn't really matter. They'd already pushed in. They'd already found the control. And again, Meadow, he's just caught at the back of the site. Not too much he can do from these positions. Now, the thing for Team Liquid as they come into this without smokes is that they're playing a very heads-up style of Valorant. Oh, yeah. They can't hide behind those smokes and push in undercover. They've got to take fights. And when they had five kills between them in the first seven rounds, I wasn't feeling too good about it. But after overtaking B versus uh, four and three man stacks, now two rounds in a row, I'm feeling pretty good. But here's where FBX adjust. They've got their, themselves some control over middle. At least they're looking to hold it somewhat aggressively. The problem is they've shifted Cypher to the A side. And so they've got nothing defending B. As Team Liquid, they just walk out. Shadow getting done through the wall in the end. Liquid having so much success on this B site. Zipan getting those grenades in and actually it stops the spike from going down. Angel onto Link as well and this is exactly what they needed. 4v3. Solkas now trying to get it done. But is it going to be enough? Oh, the molly at his feet. He's just going to burn. He's going to tick away. Ooh. He can't move. He's just sitting on the spike. He's making sure he's right tucked away in the corner. The nades are coming out. They're getting close. And it's not going to work out for him. He was completely locked in. They knew exactly where he was. And FPX will not allow Liquid to get another round up on that board for now. It's 8-2. to two. And FPX, they may have found a slight solution, at least on that one, for what Liquid was trying to throw at him. The thing for uh, FPX at the moment is it seems like they're just going to leave one gap in their defense. It's like, um, like the boss in an anime, I suppose. They always have a weakness, right? Something that they can exploit. You know, they they mm. capture James Bond and just leave him locked in a room <laughs> rather than killing them. It's like you're either they've left B completely <laughs> open, they've left mid completely open, and it's like. I, I don't I don't get it really. Uh, it's not like in order to control this map you have to leave somewhere open. Uh, they middle was working for them for quite a while though, but it's just odd mm. that they that they uh, put their cipher A and left B completely wide open after the uh, double round stack up in heaven. Great opening by Sol because this guy's doing so well in opening duels. It's himself and Screen that come through as the top rated players for this team, and you can see exactly why with this game Solkus is putting on. Liquid got to be careful here though. There's good crossfire ready. 
Meadows worked his way over towards the back of the A site this time. Zipan's dropping out the old of his own. Got to be careful he doesn't push in to the grass with Liquid who are right on the other side of this. He needs to know when to poke and when to wait for it. He tries to take down Cryptids but it's not going to work out. And now Liquid are back well in charge. Oh, damage being done. Shadow standing strong for now but he's still got two more players to find. And they could just run all the way around him. He's got to deal with that turret as well. Not what he wants to have to put up with at the moment. Is already outnumbered as it is. Oh, screen right on the edge. Eccles is there as well. It's a well-handled round and Angel going down. The aggression that FPX was showing early on. That caused a huge problem in the defense here for him. Yeah, no, definitely. They got punished this time. It's not happening every time. And with the scoreline already so massively in their favor, I guess they, they feel like getting up in their faces but that's the problem whenever there's a showstopper in play you saw the benefits of of that early aggression though a couple rounds mm -hmm. back obviously they still lost it but when they four stacked over towards the other side of the map they'd already pushed up on a and got themselves that control seeing that no one was there that there was a turret left behind and on the back of that it was a four-man stack on beat and they lost it it was just aim duels not going their way and great openings by liquid again a showstopper actually that won them that round <laughs> and so in that, that stage, I'm going to say of their three rounds, two of them have been on the back of showstopper openers, which is not yeah. consistent. You, you cannot repeat that. But at this point, that's the lifeline that they needed. Now can they do it without too many ultimates to play with? I'm surprised. So they're playing a, a bit of a slower round, obviously. But we will see Scream pop that ulti just before they go in. Now, you look at the Vandal's recent update, then you give it a boost in terms of rate of fire and Scream's ability to instantly heal up and go invisible and evade fire. That's a damn oh, scary yeah. thing. And he was a big Vandal user before the update as well. That razor sharp aim working out. You can see the Killjoy ult straight into it. Shadow going to have to hold off as best he can. He's got his ult ready if needed as well, but he's going to back away from the site. He wants to stay alive throughout all of this, and they want to nullify that ult as much as possible. Solkas, he's completely locked in. Straight in goes Shadow for the kill. And it's actually going to force Liquid back for now. They're losing players. The spike's on the floor, but they've only got 30 seconds to go, and it's a 5v3. Killjoy's incredibly low at the same time. Yeah, it's time to get moving. Scream, going to pop that ult, bro. I'm going to go for it. Yep. Well, Eye's already gone in. He's fought. He hasn't done anything with the ultimate. That is very odd. And just being shut down completely. There we go. 9-3. to three. As FBX just dominating that. I'd love to know why he didn't pop the ultimate. I'm really, I'm scratching yeah. my head. You go for the opening duel, I would pop it. But no. Rotate mid to go upper. Still not popped. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what the point of that was. I guess sometimes you can forget it, right? Sometimes yeah. you're just too focused on the kills, but it's 9-3 after the first half and FPX look large and in charge. We'll see how they fare after the break because Liquid have a hell of a lot of work to do. No idea where it is, man. Wait, these are Phoenix. It's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll take. I'll take the L. I don't mind. Yeah, if, if it was Counter-Strike, I would own it for sure, man. I think I'll. I'll, see, I'll think I'll stop jumping the gun. I'll like. I'll think about it a little bit more. I feel like I've got a good map knowledge. I should. I fly around the maps every day on practice, so I'll be pretty disappointed if I don't. I reckon I'll beat Scream. I feel like there's t this thing on every map, man. That's on, that's on, that's Haven. I, I like this kind of, you know, to aim, you know, to practice with aim. That's Haven in uh, the defender spawn, I'm pretty sure. No, this is uh, not in my mind right now, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll go, I'll lock in Haven, I'll lock in defender spawn to the left. Oh, well, actually, I, I will say Haven. I will say Haven. Like the defense, uh, like, uh, spawn, you know? I was right. I knew it, I knew it. I was a bit worried there for a second. <laughs> I had no idea for this way. I'm just gonna go off my instincts every time. It's definitely bind. It's not split. I wanna say like towards A short. And once again, I have, I have no idea. It's hard, man. This game is hard, man. Attack a side of A short on bind. I think I'll go for bind. In the area where like there's a bathroom. I, go, that's it. I mean, there's the GP. <laughs> but that's, that's not the right for man. Oh, in the back of my head somewhere, it's like that's on bind, like in this position. And I'm, I'm just going with the flow. Okay, this has to be split. I, I I recognize the the texture. That's on split. Attackers spawn to the right. 
I'm really confident. I'll, I'll lock that in straight away. I think. Uh, it's not, it's split for sure. I'm pretty sure about that, man. Yeah, color scheme, giving it away. I feel like I've seen this poster before. Like all that metal was like all over split and the white walls. Let me say A A A side on split, like on catwalk. Hundred percent. I'll I'll lock, I'll lock that in. Yeah. That's not a catwalk, man. Elbow. This is elbow. Oh. Yeah, I've never I've never looked up there on elbow before. I wouldn't know. Okay, this is easy, man. Can I get this straight away as well? <laughs> it's A cent on top mid. That's my answer. Uh, yeah. That's uh, a cent top middle. Well, when, when you when you think you know, you know. Like I'm confident on it, so. I knew it. I think there's only one map where there's a tank. It's bind. I'll I'll definitely say bind. Oh, that's bind a short one by the truck. I'm not losing that. I'm not losing that. <laughs> hey, let's go. I'll take 80%. I'm pr I'm pretty impressed. That I got 80%. It's difficult. It's difficult. The next time I'll I'll watch everything on the maps. Like. <laughs> We're back and it's time for Liquid to try and make the magic happen. They're down 9-3 after the first half. They had a few rounds in there, Mitch, which we thought, okay, we can start to see the madness unfold. And let's be honest, we're not professional players ourselves. We can't understand the reasons behind this, but we were discussing it during the break a bit, that maybe an omen might be useful on when they were trying to push through on their attacking side. But let's see how they can lock it down on the defense now, because they've got a huge mountain to climb. Now, let's see if they can lock it down with a super offensive comp. Now, look, the Killjoy can actually present a lot of opportunity. Smoke goes through. Here's the flash after the turret spots them. Swing through. And one found, at least, for Link. His teammates are cleaning it up. Really well handled. Really well done. The ability of Link to play through these smokes that you're going to see him play for the Brimstone is solid. That's the one thing that Phoenix excels at. Now, you saw the combination of the turret as well to see them pushing out. I love that in case they didn't use any utility. Fantastic work. Yeah, really solid play. I love the turret position as well. It was left unchecked for oh so long. They rushed their way in and well, Liquid were completely ready for it. It was a very basic rush coming out there, right? The smokes went down. It was very obvious what FPX were doing. We, we spoke about this with FPX. On their attacking side, you either get all guns blazing fast and furious or you get this really slow, methodical approach. And well, the all guns blazing didn't work out this time around for them at all. No, no, it didn't. You know, they try to go for the execute that they've got Brimstone for, but punished straight away. Now you got to shift to the Phoenix over towards the A side as well. You got Killjoy playing the B side. It's a bit of yeah. a mix up. I like it. I'm happy to see it. Notice the positioning of the Nano Swarm as well. It's the little triangle you see on the map in the top left. That's going to be so that if they need to fall back, if they get heavily pressured on the site, like another rush with smokes, they can just fall back. And then they can use that Nano Swarm to stop them actually planting in the default position and allow them to try and take some duels as they push them off that spot. It's a pretty smart positioning. It's good to have mm. a fallback like that on a round like this where you are playing with SMGs and your opponents will have pistols. Maybe they try something just, you know, ballsy aggression, WQ, and you can get overwhelmed. We've seen it. Even in the G2 games, you know, they struggled round two versus this kind of buy. Oh, yeah. I'm intrigued to see though, right, when it comes to, to what FBX is going to deal with here is once they get themselves going with the weapons in their hands, how much do they slow this down to try and get a player like Scream to get a bit more aggressive to push out? He knows how it should be played in there, but we've seen it time and time again. He gets caught off guard by some of those plays. But they start to push him a little bit now. He's actually going to back away. You're going to see him bundle up on into the site. Shadow trying to flash his way in. He's caused him a bit of a nuisance for now, but it might enable that soul spike to get planted, but they can't deal with Link. He's ripping them apart with a Spectre in hand. It's an easy round again for Liquid to pick up, but now the real challenge commences. Yep, this is where you really run into a bit of a roadblock or potentially a roadblock runs into you. The attacking <laughs> side, they pull out the weapons. They're ready to roll. The Vandals, and we've seen the patch recently. 
That has given the Vandal a lot of power. Notice only one player on the server has got light armor. And why do you think that is? My man's got plenty of flashes, shadows playing as a photographer, and he's going to look to daze and dazzle Liquid to find the glory for the attacking side. I like this. Different setups round after round from Cryptic. Changing up for the buy round here. Doesn't allow this A push to come in. Well, you have to make sure that your utility placement is unpredictable, right? You don't want to be shut down with these players just coming through and pre-firing or using the raise to clear out your utility. So making it as unpredictable as possible is really the, the name of the game when you're playing on either a Cypher or, or a Killjoy. Over. You're dead. Already. Link popping the Phoenix Hulk, pushing on forward, wants to go and find some success. He's on the hunt, but it's not going to work out. He gets hit from the side, and he's going to have a good understanding that they've got some mid-control. Soulcast hung around for a little bit too long there. Does get tapped down a fair bit, but at least he's still alive. That's the main thing. They're going to be well aware, though, of the control that FPX has now. The question is, how are they going to use it? I would question if that was necessary. I think if you left him unchecked to run down middle, he wouldn't find too much more info, and he could sneak up behind and have it. But now they're ready for it. Oh, Cryptic. Cryptic. He's looking away, but he still manages to find them and catch them off guard. What is that with a Spectre? He picks a double. That's unreasonable. Now they can just push out. The Flash is in play. Eccles picks up a double, and FPX, they've just been shut down. How does how do Cryptics get away with that? <laughs> Cryptics looked at him, turned away. Stood in the corner, looked at it some more, and then finally killed him. I wish the replay was just a few seconds before that, because Cryptix may have just been doing something else, but we all could see he saw him straight off the bat. It still worked out for him. Impressive stuff either way. But Liquid, they're going to make it close now, at least. If you can't see me, I can't see you. Or if I can't see you, you can't see me, right? Just turn away. <laughs> you wouldn't shoot an unarmed man, would you? Oh, well, I don't was... think those rules apply to Valorant, especially not in FBX <laughs> stand, especially with someone like Angel. He's taking you either way. It's all about honor. It's like Angel is a samurai. You drop your weapon, he'll, he'll uh, leave you alone. Oh! Our predator. See you, Shadow. Don't poke out into that. Scream's just waiting for you. I don't expect to see the ADS Vandal all too much. Um, Considering the patch, I feel like when it comes down to just hip fire, it's almost uh, valuable enough at the moment. Maybe Scream's eyesight's going a little bit. <laughs> Likes to, to see what? up close. What? It helps zoom in a little hits bit, right? Eddie's for days. You're saying his <laughs> eyesight may have gone a little bit. Yeah, but it could just be like he can't see far away. He's like, I gotta, gotta sit really close. That's what was happening with Hip earlier. What? He was inside his monitor. <laughs> oh, I really hope no one in Twitch chat ever takes you seriously on statements <laughs> like this, Mitch. <laughs> Soulcast needs to be so careful though. Doesn't want to run out to a couple of these sheriff shots. The hold strong for now. He's good for most of it as well. It's a pretty convincing round either way as we get to 9-7 now. Though. This is where it's game on. We speak about Split being such a defensive map over and over again. But we've seen uh, many times here from FBX that they struggle on their attacking side. But then they can find an opening. They find a way. They see a weakness. And that's what they're looking for right now. FBX need to, to find that little bit of extra info. You can see the reason, right, that they're popping out on mid in this pistol round. Previously, they found their way into rope room completely undetected. And so they're trying to see, okay, is, is this repeatable? Well, what is their setup at the moment? They know they're not going to win the round more than likely, but it's valuable info gained, absolutely. They managed to spot out these players are now a little bit more aggressive around that mid control, so they're going to dedicate a smoke to it to start us off. A little bit of a spam through it, try to get that lucky kill, but the RNG is not on their side this time. We'll shut down, down that boom bot, giving away the fact that they're still here. Another smoke to come through in just a second. And with that angle re-smoked, it's time to start a move. And they've actually forced the player out of rope room, and that's valuable information lost. Scream's going to have to do some serious damage here. Decides to jump on down. Going to allow him to take full control of it. Three players up on the B side for Liquid, though. They're ready. They're prepared. Shao trying to get some extra information in there. Solkas goes one for one, but Link's trying to even up the numbers for Liquid's favor. That ult's coming in. Scream's going to have to sit there and tank it. Oh, he vulnerables away after getting the kill. Brilliant stuff. Great decision making. And Liquid still have the advantage. The critical shot missed there from Link. Zipan, though, very low on health. Able to jump his way across. Just needs to be able to protect his teammate as the spike's going to go down. 
And it's Meadow that's going to have to try and help him come up huge. Oh, brilliant use of the ult going out. It lands it onto Link. And somehow, some way, FPX have turned the odds in their favor. It's now all on Cryptics. He's got a good amount of health in there. But he's got to find both players. He doesn't know which way to look. It's very hard for him to find. And an ace comes out from Zipan, who literally did just go and kill non-stop from start to finish. And this is why he is such a scary foe to deal with. He's unbelievable. The amount of individual skill on this guy. He trades it out to start it. He manages to pull these kills back one after another. And you saw that ult go down, right? The orbital yeah. strike in play. Scream looked like he was dead to rights, but he manages to dismiss out of there. Swing away. Dismisses the ult quite literally. But then he's right back in. Looking for the kills. You think, okay, he's bought himself into this round. This should be theirs. And Zipan delivers like only Zipan can. He came, he went, he killed. And at this point, <laughs> 10 to 7. It's a spot for FPX, and they're going to be happy to find that round. But again, it comes down to the question we posed to Liquid. Is it repeatable? And no, you yeah. can't expect Zipan to ace every single round. So we need to see the strategy start to really develop. And Angel has a read. He saw that Scream had early rotated to the B side after that smoke and rope room. So they pop the smoke, and he walks through. He's like, okay, free real estate. We know we've got that control. Now they've got a fallback plan. Oh, oh focus! No, it misses! The blast packs go out as well, but it's not going to connect. Zipan continuing on his destruction. They're going to force their way into the B site. And Cryptics, that smoke did delay his vision. Now, great use of the kill droid. Going to stop the default spike plant going down, but it's not for long enough. It's not going to be a problem to hold FPX back for too long. And it's all on the retake. We used to praise Liquid on the way they would retake over and over again. With these agents, is it something that can work out for them? Shadow's quite low on health, but Angel trying to flank his way around. And Liquid, they need to make a decision, and they need to go soon. Oh, they'd spotted Scream out. I think they must have just seen a hair on his head, because I couldn't even see it in that yeah. camera. My eyesight must be going. But that was, uh, was impressive <laughs> stuff. Now a 3v5, there's no way Liquid go for it. You can already see yeah. them falling back. And with that, FBX have picked up an 11th. They are one step closer to victory. What hell of a round for them. I got to say, that again, it's really impressive stuff. And they've also opened up the fact that when they smoke off that rope room, they cause a rotate. They realize that at this point. And so with that, they can start to feed off of... Uh, causing that rotate in the early round, trying to cause Scream to go B and find a little bit more of a, an open A site to push into. Good placements of the Nano Swarms as well that we saw there, but it still wasn't good enough for Liquid to hold on. They had to give up the site so easily. And again, it doesn't matter if it's Liquid or it's FPX. Hitting this B site is a thing that's working out well for them. Two in a row now for FPX, and then we need two more to get the job done and to, to take this map. And remember, this is Liquid's pick. We expected to see a little bit more from these guys on it. We wanted to. We wanted to. You know, for me, FBX are, are a solid oh, team. Oh, oh, it comes oh. down to this map. This composition was an odd one for Liquid, but it's not unusable. Their attack definitely wasn't as good as it needed to be. And you can see that, you know, had they have just managed to find up like a 7-5 scoreline, they'd be pretty comfortable. But the reality is, at this point, they're fighting an uphill battle with agents, a uh, composition that is not built for this kind of a fight. When it comes to FPX, they're confident. They know what they're doing. And I'm surprised that they haven't, again, just smoked off that uh, that rope room to try and fully force a rotate towards the B site. But they've still got Scream over there. So as they push through to A, it's only really Killjoy that can stop them, with a rotate being quite slow for Breach. Oh, Cryptix. Will he look in time? Spots out one player. A few shots come up towards him, so they will be aware of his position. He gets tagged up a tiny bit. Scratched by the grenades, at least, as Zipan's not able to get anything done from that position. This is a huge push that Liquid now can make, but they need to go in time. Angel decides to put the smokes down, but how much cover will that really give them? Meadow's still in the back lines, and well, his camera's going to give him a good amount of information, at least, to play off of. Scream pushing in the unvulnerability once again. Scream back to his old tricks. This is what you want to see from him. He's not checking the back of the side, though. Meadow's just hanging strong, hanging tight, looking to sit on position. Oh. Headshot's being landed. He's getting ready for it. One more to oh. find. The Meadow shuts him down. A huge clutch comes in. And this madman, he may have had a slow start, but that's a strong finish exactly when FPX needed it.
Ooh, I need a breather after that one. Can we get a pause? Jesus, that was ridiculous. This guy has just wrecked them. Zipan opens it up. Great. Okay. Look, they even run into an A site that's completely vulnerable. They did the one thing that they needed to, destroying cool. the Nano Swarm on the way through. And they just yeah. leave Metal and check the trigger discipline. He lets Scream walk in a little bit so he can try and find more, but he had to take the kill eventually. I'm thinking, okay, now they've got him for sure. And that face, it's exactly how I'd feel if mm -hmm. I was on Liquid. That is ridiculous. A round they should never lose. And look at what it's cost them. When we go back in, oh, we did get a pause. Thanks, Liquid. Um, they definitely <laughs> needed it themselves, I'm sure, to take a little bit of a breather. Because now we're in a position where FPX are massively favored to take this across the line. When it's 12-7, where do you go from here as Liquid? That was a round that you owned. Yeah. Yeah. Scream did everything right there. You saw the time he went invulnerable was perfect. He just didn't quite see Meadow. He didn't check all the positions. He assumed, I guess, because there were so many players up close that he wouldn't be in a spot like that. He'd be more in the back lines. And you see Eccles was getting frustrated. We saw it on the camera there. It's starting to get to him because they were on a bit of a roll, but then FPX just got going. And once again, it's happening. Eccles trying to make sure he can avoid it. Shall pop it off. He's getting two with the Hunter's Fury. That's exactly what they need. And there's only one more player to find. It's a 3v1. And the killjoy on Cryptix is all alone. I know exactly. This is a horrible place for him to be in. And we're going into bind the dominant map of FPX next as well. Well, it, it doesn't look great, does it? There's, uh, there's very few ways you can talk positively about this. You see FPX and what Angel was talking about in terms of Killjoy being OP when it came to matchmaking, but when it comes to professional teams, people will just learn how to deal with her. In that previous mm -hmm. round, they pushed into A. They dealt with the Nano Swarm immediately. There was no turret there to give away the fact that they'd already gotten up close, and so it was about as easy as it could be. Cryptix got basically nothing done with the utility. Ooh. They had great shot. This is doable. Oh, it's 1v2. He has off. to go, but he's been hit hard. Going to go for the lockdown. It's going to be put in play, but it doesn't even block the back of the site. They can just took away and bide their time. Eight seconds left until it locks them down. Meadow actually still available in the back of the site, but Zipan's got an off angle. 13 to 7, and that is it closed out. What a game that was. A great game and a strong start coming out from FPX. Even with Liquid trying to mount a mini